Question number 11, Rahui Katane. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance and asks, what policy solutions are being considered to respond to the comments of the tax working group regarding GST that, in quote, increasing the rate could impact on lower income or vulnerable households, especially in the short run, unquote. The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, the tax working group is deliberating and will be until later in the year. The Government will not consider any options it proposes until after it reports back in December. I would note, however, that Budget 2009 ensured that the most vulnerable in our society were protected despite the change in the economic outlook, and that should be a good guide to the attitude of the Government. Right. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Does the Minister consider it socially responsible for the group of experts in the tax working group to deliberately design a scheme which discriminates against low-income and vulnerable households, and if so, what areas of government would he expect will need to pick up the discriminatory effects of the scheme? The Hon. Bill English. Mr Speaker, I would refer the, 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 members, uh, the members' concerns to comments made by, I think, Susan St John, who has, who's well known for her economic work in this area to do with poverty and, and income equality. Uh, who who said publicly she was impressed with the transparent way that the working group was dealing with issues of equality and income equity. And I can assure the member that uh, when the government does consider proposals from this group, it will, be, it will certainly be taking account of the equity issues. Thank you, Mr Speaker. What are the implications of removing GST from food and offsetting the tax take by increasing GST on tobacco and alcohol? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, this, I mean, the members clearly got a, a proposition here and would welcome the um, working group looking at, to, looking at it. Uh, generally, uh, we, we can signal the government prefers a uniform GST with no exemptions. Uh, if there are issues to do with uh, lack of income to be dealt with, then those can be dealt with by other means. Uh, and I know that the Members' Party is, is advocating an increase in GST on tobacco and alcohol as a health-related measure. Stuart Nash. Thank you. Can he guarantee that he will not introduce any further changes to the tax system that will benefit mainly those on high incomes, given that the tax changes he has introduced so far disproportionately benefit those on high incomes? as he repealed the tax cuts Labor legislated for that would have benefited those on lower incomes. The Hon. Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, I don't agree with the member's analysis at all, and that's been disputed in this, uh, in this House before. What I can confirm for the member is the Government would, uh, in considering making change, or in fact in making no change, would consider uh, issues of fairness. Question